hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel once again and guys today in this video we are going to learn about configuring and managing dock transport module with efm efm is nothing but it is enterprise flux manager i hope this video will be informative for you and uh, you will learn about the clear uh, idea about uh, right fax dock transport module what it is actually and what is the role of this and guys uh, before going further i would tell you it is very important and one of the backbone uh, feature i should say service it is a service of right fax server so let me give you a quick introduction about it so that you should have a clear idea what it is actually and why it is required so guys you know at uh, the right fax dock transport module okay it specifies you should pay attention to this word it specifies the method by which right fax can transmit documents and messages so the basic function of dock transport is to head by which right fax can transmit documents and messages and you can configure fax boards for conventional fax transmission fax boards for fax over ip and message sms messaging apart from as an interpreter between some fax board drivers and right fax server module for conventional fax transmission so while we are talking about uh, dock transport we need to configure couple of boards and all okay so that is what i'm going to discuss uh, later on and uh, it it handles request to schedule outgoing faxes for scheduling it 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 works okay or it plays the role of scheduling for transmission and informs the server module when a new fax has been received and need to be processed for example let me show you here this is one small demo here like this is your transport server so it will be your interpreter okay and uh, for example any any uh, any one fax is going from this server to this server so it is uh, responsible for that scheduling and if anything is coming from that it will inform to this server so that is the basic role of this uh, here dock transport module and that configuration board and all we will configure here so apart from this guys uh, the dock transport module must be configured properly to allow the right fax server to send and receive documents yes it should be configured properly and uh, right fax supports a maximum of 120 fax channel per dock transport module so for example you have one server uh, one uh, dock transport it may support up to 120 fax cha uh, channel per dock transport module apart from this uh, the maximum number of fax that can be sent by a single dock transport module at the same time is equivalent to the total number of fax channels is configured for sending plus one. So the, the example let me tell you if we have 10 fax channels are configured for sending then 11 faxes can be processed for sending at the same time. I hope you understood this one now if you have configured 101 fax channel for con uh, for sending faxes so it will send 102 or it can process 102 faxes can be processed for sending at the same time and apart from this guys as each fax is sent the system will pull another fax from the queue for processing and uh, if additional dock transport modules are configured then more faxes can be processed at the same time for example if you have more uh, dock transport server configured so they can they can do oh, you know more fax process at the same time now we will learn about it in detail uh, practically how it is so guys if you feel this video is informative and you are learning something you know what you have to do it is mentioned here you have to subscribe the channel comment share and like and yes do click this 
bell icon so that you will be getting all the notifications so i will move to the next one which is like uh, configuration part this is my server where i have deployed one right back server okay let me log in here so you can see here guys this is what I am talking about right fax doc transport module and it is running as of now okay and if I click to this I am there this is my configuration wizard doc transport configuration local so you can see what and all option is available here okay so as you can see the first thing auto willing code setting and the next one is global doc transport setting this this one and the next one is enable user specific phone codes and the next one is like edit sql connection add a transport server and select service account okay so these are the default settings default options you can see here and uh, now if you want to configure it you, you if you want to enable it what you have to do so first of all let me tell you like uh, you know if you want to add any transport server so you have to transport add transport basically so you have to click this one okay and uh, before going further let me show you something if you click this global talk transport setting so you can see it came event logs so in every video i am talking about this one what it is actually what option you should select and what not and what will happen if you select one of these options and it says like reschedule pending faxes after service failure so it is by default enabled so i'm not doing anything here uh, the first thing what we are going to see is adding transport method okay so click this add transport and now we will add here this one brook root brook root okay and just click this one tr1034 series so you can see here now what and all options we have here we have lots of options here okay so i'm just selecting the top one tr1034 plus uh, p8e1 okay and uh, what you have to do here so guys uh, it has lots of things here and everything has a certain role a specific role here you can configure SMS services, uh, fax over IP address, and simulations. So we are seeing this one only in this video today. Apart from this, what you have to do? Uh, just click this and select it. Now you got all the options available here. Okay. Now what we can do here configuring global dock transport settings so to configure this what this one i'm talking about what you have to do like uh, first of all you have to uh, if you want to enable any 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 one i'm just giving this normal event log and apart from this what what you have to do uh, like uh, enable security cp uh, communication okay so if you want you can enable this and you have to give yes here and click this let's see what is what, what it shows so it is showing my domain name it is showing my username and it is showing my uh, you know password options and uh, i'm not i mean i mean i'm not i'm not doing anything here i'm just leaving as it is you have you have not specified a password so i'm just cancelling that one okay and uh, apart from this guys here we'll see uh, brook root fax board configuration okay this one we had added here this one or uh, let's see what and all option is available here this one global transport settings so to configure this you have to go to this option uh, brook root global transport setting 
okay and now you saw this window is coming here here I will tell you one by one what are the options we have so guys the first thing you can see is CD timeout what is this actually this one CD timeout so guys specific it, it, it specifies the length of time in seconds that the right fax server will wait for a fax answer tone CED tone that is from a remote fax machine when sending a fax I hope you understood and uh, apart from this a and I pattern match so this it specifies the pattern of the dialing party information is string that will be received during incoming calls okay this option and the next one is like uh, uh, what we have here beeping so select this checkbox if the computer in which the fax board are installed should beep each time a call is placed or received okay this beep, beep option and the next one is audit so allow audit select this checkbox to have the dock transport module record all incoming and outgoing faxes in log very simple you can check mark this and uh, apart from this the next option is file okay if you select this what it is actually so guys specify the path and file name of the log file to use so we can specify uh, that path to be used okay and if the file does not exist right fax will create it when it logs the first entry and uh, apart from this the output log file to a network printer enter the printer port instead of file name and uh, the next one like you can see there are label here okay couple of label like one two three four five so if you if you put this first what will happen level one prints a single line summary of each fax event if you put two it prints a detailed description of each fax event and if you give three outputs a comma uh, delimited daily meted file of each fax event basically okay and if you put four output a tab delimited file each or containing that as fax events so you can find it find uh, you can collect more information from google also and uh, this is what i'm talking in this this much only and apart from this guys you can put some you know initial string also here uh, like uh, uh, what should i say field name basically and is strings apart from this uh, let me move to the next one uh, what we have here like uh, close file between each page so this closes the log file after each entry you can then output the log to a network printer and next option is like uh, where it is TT uh, TT I line is there and uh, dialing is there error correction is there so let me tell you one by one so guys this let me tell you this initial initial string so enter a text message to include at the beginning of every page in the audit file that is what it is all about uh, this initial string okay and uh, apart from this in this uh, error correction or clo close file I spoke about now I will tell you about uh, error correction so error connection is all about ECM is disabled is that yes we have an option ECM is disabled so what it is actually select this checkbox if error connection mode is disabled or does not exist okay and the next one is like uh, RT and response so guys RT and response is like 
specifies how write facts will respond to RTN messages whether it is ignored or abandoned. Apart from this, the next thing is here allow TTL line. So allow TTL line is like you know select this checkbox to place a transmit terminal information line at the top of every page of an outbox faxes. So if it is required, you can select this check mark. Okay. And uh, next one is here like what we have. Uh, this one I spoke about. You can see here a couple of uh, options we have like uh, overlay TTL line. What it is actually. Select overlay TTL line to add the TTL line text to add any existing text or image on the first line of the fax. Okay. Similarly, replace uh, TTL line. So what it is actually. Uh, to replace any existing text or image on the first line of the fax with TTL line. Okay, and the next one is like insert. Uh, select this check to add a new line to the top of the fax page for the TTL information. And apart from this, the next one is like what we have here. Uh, let me tell you. Display time is there? Yes, this dis display time as server. You guys, select one of the following. Again, you will have multiple options here. Display time as GMT, display time as server, display time as UTC. Okay, so uh, it is up to you which one you want to apply here. And we have one more option quick header format. Quick header format, this one. So, guys, enter heading text to include under the TTL line on outbound faxes. This is the role of this one here and apart from this uh, what is available? Dialing setting. Okay. So this one prefix. So here enter one or more dialing character to add at the beginning of every outbound fax number dialed by the server and the dialing Oh, I should say the default setting WW instructs the fax board to automatically detect a dial tone before dialing and uh, post fix is like enter one or more dialing character okay uh, to add at the end of every outbound fax number dialed by the right fax server and uh, next one is like what we have call grouping setting so what it is actually if you click this you will have something more combine sequence none so let me tell you when a fax is placed in the fax queue call grouping checks the queue for another fax going to the same number okay and uh, call group method is like select none if call grouping will not be used what is the next one is combine combine is like select combine to allow the grouping of the calls to the same number if another fax to the same number is scheduled then the line is kept open and the secondary fax is transited so everything is very important role here okay guys and uh, the next one is like uh, sequence select sequence to allow the grouping of the calls to the same number but the right fax server will hang up the call after each fax is sent so guys this is what we have so this much information here inside this global transport setting okay and uh, apart from this what we can configure here is like uh, uh, configuring brook root board okay so Let's see what is available here in this and uh, if you go to this option uh, just click this one and uh, let me see if things are available or not here. Or uh, 
here let me check whether that uh, option I'm going to discuss is available or not so I'm just checking one more time okay I'm looking for SR 140 that is board actually exchange unified uh, it should come here so it is not coming so I'm, I'm just skipping that one it should come something uh, uh, like uh, SR1 uh, 140 so that is not available here not an issue I will discuss about it later on so let's see what uh, we can see apart from this okay you can see advanced settings and docs on demand you can enable this enable docs on demand again it is like system password kind of thing you can see lots of things here and uh, okay so now let's see uh, what we have here so these are the channels you can see okay Th these are the channels so if you want to configure any channel how you can configure channel so for this uh, I will tell you like uh, so you click any channel you want to configure for for example I want to configure channel 3 okay and I clicked this and now we'll see what are all options we have here so first of all it should be activated so it is active channel it shows and the next one is like fax ID so here guys specify the fax ID for this channel only and uh, the, the fax ID is transmitted to remote fax machine to identify the sender and usually this is set to your company name or company fax number and uh, this box is not available if you configure the brook root board to set uh, the fax id for all the channels and apart from this like cap capability you can see one option is there so if you click both it says and uh, it says uh, dial it says answer so everything has separate role here and uh, if you see apart from this what and all is available here you click this one only uh, both w and vm notify reserve and dial wvm notify and again dial vm ring detect okay so this these are the options we have here apart from this like uh, uh here maximum pages channel may send so guys enter the maximum number of pages per fax you want and uh, it, it it is like from zero to triple nine so you can define as per the company policy and uh, next one is channel extension channel extension is not what uh, assigning a routing code to all incoming faxes on this channel if no routing information is specified so this is the uh, that is the use of this one and the next one is like uh, what we have timed ability so what it is you can use the channel with one capability throughout the day from uh, four times zero to two three five nine or you can define up to three time period which changing capabilities so you can see like start and end up to this again you have options here like both dial answer okay and uh, for example to set different capability for business hours and after hours and to use the evening hours for broadcast faxing you might define the following what you can do you can define start zero and and uh, like uh, you can make uh, uh, zero six uh, five nine okay and you can select both here at the end this capability uh, and apart from this you can select uh, start again zero and uh, the second one what you can do is like you can configure uh, one seven five nine and here you can uh, 
select answer and the next one is like uh, 18 2 3 5 9 capability and this both you can select it is depend on the requirement what is what is there in your company next option guys enable tdmf routing okay so what it is actually and i think we should have something more here this inbound route, routing inside this uh, enable tdmf routing so this setting apply if you enable tdmf routing tdmf routing is a method for routing faxes to an individual based on the routing code entered manually by the caller and uh, if you want you can enable it okay again you will see lots of things got uh, changed here and initial tone so guys uh, initial tone initial speech you will see two options here this in enable speech is there and uh, if we talk about uh, initial tone to play a tone and then select the tone to play and the duration of the tone in seconds for information on the available tones refer to your brook root documentations okay so we don't have any documentation and uh, you can select multiple kind of things here and this one even you can check from here and this is uh, a speech okay and to play the voice prompted for preview no you have to run certain commands so i'm not uh, doing that here okay you can find it in google there is a command you need to run in command prompt and it will give you some output okay and uh, apart from this guys here to play back the failure of uh, confirmation prompt and all so like uh, yes there is a command i will show you in my coming up video somewhere definitely okay apart from this guys you can see here uh if you select this one so for initial speech you can put something for failure you can put something for confirmation you you can put something here okay and uh, apart from this for no transmission also you can do the same thing uh, no terminator uh, terminator this one okay and uh, what is this no terminator if you select this what will happen and you can see these are the options available here so guys terminator enter the telephone key that the caller must press to indicate that all tdmf digits have been entered and this is required if the maximum digits and minimum digits are not set to the same value okay you can see here maximum digit minimum digits apart from this the next option is RFC 3833 tones okay and uh, you can see here weight tone is also there and now guys uh, I will show you something like uh, uh, what is this weight tone so weight tone is nothing but specify within how many seconds after the prompt the caller must enter a routing code or if a terminator key is defined the routing code and the terminator key now we'll see about uh, what i should show you configuring the human answered fax feature okay let's see if it is available here so for this uh, uh, for this what we have to do like uh, human uh, based uh, advanced setting we have to go so yes advanced setting is there okay this one okay so for this guys you know which the human answered fax feature enabled when a outbound fax call is not answered via fax tone the right fax server play a simple or detailed voice prompt informing the recipient that the call is an incoming fax this is a fax or this is a kind of things so some, some some message will be coming to configure this what you have to do uh, the first thing is like you know at least one brook wrote uh, fax board with licensed 
voice capability must be installed so you should have one board with uh, voice capability okay licensed and for this what you have to do is like uh, you have to go to uh, add one setting and from there enable this enabled and you can see uh, calling mode is coming now so apart from this what it is actually let me show you one by one so guys select the mode in which the right fax server will start the call okay calling mode switch to fax mode if a fax is detected very simple the server starts the call in voice mode but plays fax handshake tones several times uh, before playing the voice mode selection okay here and if we talk about the next one call back in voice mode if a human is detected on the fax call what will happen the server briefly hangs up and then calls back in voice mode if a fax tone is detected anytime the fax is sent and the next always start each fax call in voice mode so the server starts all outbound fax calls in voice mode okay guys i hope i was very clear with all the three options and the next one is voice mode here so guys select whether the right fax server will play a voice menu in addition to the voice prompt okay and uh, either voice prompt only or voice menu or detailed voice prompt so we have three options here and let's see if i click this if i click this so yes it is coming okay so i'm just removing this and uh, apart from this what we can learn in uh, in this video again you can see like service account you can change from here you can add the uh, transport okay this is the same thing will happen and edit sql connection from here if required so i'm not doing anything as of now and uh, uh, let's see if i click this if i get anything extra here no i'm not getting anything extra detailed voice prompt okay voice mode i spoke about and uh, next thing what we can do is like uh, uh, configuring docs on demand let's see whether it is available or not okay yes we have one more option here that is or uh, which is uh, like uh, docs on demand okay guys so what it is actually with the docs on demand module anyone can call into your right fax server to request faxes by name itself it is telling with the docs on demand module anyone can call into your right fax server to request faxes and these can be marketing or sales material international material or any kind of fax document or uh, your organization wants to make available via touch tone phone okay and uh, to configure this again you have to go dock on demand and enable it and you can see like you know system password you have to give and uh, enter the numeric password the fax on demand administrator will use to access the fax on demand uh, sys op that is known as system operator so one two three i gave here default only and uh, the next one is routing code channel extension that is so guys enter the routing code such as tdmf extension or did number to assign to a fax on demand okay and the next one is like uh, user account is default here and uh, like uh, name on cover sheet what should it should show call type is there what is this call type is like if you, if you click this prompt or one call two call and maximum documents so these are options we have with this one enter the maximum number of fax document that a fax on demand user can request per call okay 
uh, with the help of this one we can configure now apart from this what we can see like you know uh, registry settings there are a couple of registry settings we have to make so let me see if it is available so defining an rti line basically and uh, or uh, let's see let's see configuring uh, if we have something here t37 is not there so let me see this is okay this one is like uh, i'm showing you this adding one more transport selection that is fax over ip address t37 fax over ip address okay guys so you have to add this first of all and uh, select this so it is showing you now it should show here this one just click like this and uh, so guys what it is actually use the t7 fax over ip fax transmission protocol to transmit faxes to t.37 compatible devices over ip instead of dedicated fax channels okay and the fax is packaged as an email message with a ti ff attachment and sent over ip via an smtp server so to configure this what you have to do first of all you have to add it i just now showed you how to add it and uh, the, the next time uh, next steps are here like if you click this one and open it uh, you can see it, it is asking for smtp server address so by default fax over ip message are sent via smtp server that you specified during the right fax server installation if you do not specify an smtp server name then enter the name of the smtp server here address you have to give and the next one is like uh, uh, email address in the from uh, section of the t.37 fax message so guys here what you have to do enter the email address that will be transmitted to the receiving t.37 compatible device so these are the two options we have to make here we have to configure and nothing more than this apart from this now i will show you like configuring fax over ip failover okay so if it is available to enable uh, uh to enable this uh, failover uh, fax over ip failover okay sorry what is this to enable fax over ip failover okay um, it is little bit confusing now so what you have to do you have to you know first create two dialing rules that route faxes based on the outgoing router number and uh, set the rule that point to the primary router with a higher weight than the rule that points to secondary router so for this like uh, uh let me show you if it is available here uh here what we have to do is like uh, in the left pane a dialing plan is there is there any dialing plan uh no it, it, it is not showing so dialing rule we have to create here oh, let me see if i can add anything from here now this much information is available as of now it should show some dialing rule here so i'm moving guys i will show you this in some some other video okay whatever is available as of now we are just seeing and uh, like uh, the next thing like configuring right fax sms service okay that also i will show you a uh, little bit here so add once again and this sms service you have to select okay and just give select and it, it got added here this one so now if you see it is showing you a couple of information and uh, you can now i will give you a little brief about it you can configure the right fax server to send messages 
fax notifications and system alert by sms okay that is short message service uh, communication protocol to sms compatible devices such as cell phone and uh, two services are available sms via the push push proxy gateway or uh, write fax sms service so guys here enabling edition i just now showed you you enabled it i mean it, you added it here very simple and now you can see write fax uh, sms services data center so you have to select one of these which data center you want to configure either in united united state europe or custom okay and uh, apart from this uh, this proxy setting is there if you if you select this custom let's see what is coming here so it is changing you have to give service url here so if you want to use united state default you can select this one only and uh, to configure uh, you know uh apart from what i was talking about uh proxy settings so let's see what is available in this proxy settings so guys here you can you have to give uh, if you check mark this proxy server you have to give port number you have to give and ignore certificate if error is there so you can check mark this and this is proxy server uh, require authentication account name and password you have to give if you want to use this option okay and uh, apart from this you should check connection whether it is successful or not that username and password uh, so the, the proxy server and all everything you have to give here uh, so as of now i don't have anything so i'm not entering anything okay now let's see like configuring sms via the uh, push proxy gateway so what uh, is available here whether we can configure or not so if it is available i will show you if not then i will i will record a separate video okay to configure this uh, install the right fax post proxy gateway on the server running doc this one and uh, so let's see whether this is available or not first of all Post proxy gateway is installed or not? So just cancel this one. Post proxy gateway, 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 gateway. We'll check from down. So as of now, I cannot see that one. It is something different. This is server module, database module, RPC module, queue handler, peering, work server, email gateway module, SAP integration, e-transport, auto reply alert, and uh, conversion. Uh, post, post proxy is not there, so we won't be able to configure this one as of now. So I will show you. I will record a separate video uh, for that. Okay, in my com coming up video, and uh, as of now, what we can see is this where we were doc transport services and oh, oh i just removed everything not an issue we were checking this one so i can select this once again okay and uh, apart from this guys uh, what i can discuss is like uh, there are there are lots of things like auto billing is there uh let's see this one okay you can go to this and enable this one auto billing code setting so guys select user specific you have to select and now you can see add entries that delete entries there edit entries there okay to add right fax user id and domestic and international phone codes ability uh, individually you have to add here and now it is asking for user id domestic dialing code international dialing code okay so i'm just clicking cancel here and phone call uh, phone code uh, file name you can see this uh, you can create any file and you can load that also from here and uh, apart from this like uh, 
these are the basic uh, configuration we have to configure for this and uh, no guys uh, i'm just finishing this video here only uh, i had to discuss this much information and the rest of i'm going to discuss in my coming up videos so there are lots of things to learn lots of things to configure everything has a specific role and again uh, this is what uh, service account you can change from here you can modify it and uh, and next video i will discuss about enabling and using the right fax sync module okay uh, and um, we have not configured much here i just spoke about the basic things and i hope it was very clear we we show uh, fax over ip address we show uh, like uh, uh, this board configuration okay and even you can see this right fax connect if you select this and select so we will get couple of options here once again we have to configure channels okay so you can see again it, it shows channel information for channel one two three four again it is asking for a uh, couple of information here DID setting and all and uh, this video is over guys here dog transport we discuss lots of things in next video we'll see about I uh, uh, will show you whether it is, that is available or not here sync module is there one sync module okay so transport alert routing this this will we are going to learn in next video so what it is actually we can configure from here i hope i was capable to give you something to learn and if you feel yes it was then please do subscribe like and share the video and wait for my next video till then bye bye